Good morning, everyone, and trust you are doing great. My name is Toba Olua Pomle, and I'm one of the Connect Pastors here in the Audacious Church, Manchester Central, and also part of the awesome Alpha team. We have been looking at our favorite Bible character. And I'm just going to add on to what some of my great friends have done. You can go back and check them. Yeah, really, really awesome sharings from great people. I'm putting a spotlight on my there beloved father, Abraham. Abraham, a man of faith. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17, the Bible says, By faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son. Wow, Father Abraham, who leaves his country, his people, father's household for something not specific and um, probably defined? Who picks a knife to slaughter his son, only son, on a altar? and the son made <laughs> who bears a name father of many nations who has no single child it can only be father Abraham <laughs> I remember the other day my son was trying to prove some stunts then using a scooter and he fell down and I mean I had to carry him and all of that was crying. I can't imagine picking a knife and trying to, <laughs> you know what I mean? But Father Abraham did that. And then the Bible made us to understand that he did this by faith. Faith critical to us. I'm learning it and I keep learning this from Father Abraham. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. From Father Abraham, what can make us do some impossible things? It is faith. And how does faith come? It comes by hearing. If we live our lives by instructions from the book in faith, we will be able to establish some covenants just like Father Abraham did with God. So, the question is, have you spent some time with the Word today? Have you read the written Word? Have you heard the Word preached? Have you listened to the Word sung? Have you envisioned the word painted? Have you engaged in the word discussed? Have you heard? Have you read? Have you discussed the word today? The word of God is so powerful. It enables us to continue on the trajectory of faith. And then by faith, we can do the impossible. You can only give out to the measure of what you have consumed. So, if we're going to do some impossibles, if we're going to establish some covenant with God, we need to live by faith. If we're going to live by faith, we need to stay by the word. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And see you sometimes later. Bye for now.